So let's continue working with this project. In this video, uh, we're going to add this active class when you click in one of the possible answers. You can see at the moment we don't have something like that. So let's open the quiz.js. And here on this part where we are building the list of answers, we're going to add a new event. So let me add a comment. Attach an event when the answer is clicked. So we're going to add answer HTML and we're going to add on click. And this is going to be equal to a function. I'm going to call this one select answer. When you attach a function like this one in an on click event, you don't have to, you don't have to add the parentheses. So something, uh, something like this is going to be fine. So let me add the comment and we're going to add when the answer is selected. And I'm going to copy this name, the name of this function. So let me add the name of the function. And this is going to be equals to an arrow function. And just to, uh, to make sure that this is working, we're going to console log. Let me add, you click it in an answer. So let me save this again. Let me open the project. You can click here. And you can see this is working and the answers are connected with this function. So let me remove this code. So when the user click here, we are going to add a class. So we need to pass the event right here. And we're going to console log e dot target. So target is going to be the element that is going to be pressed. So you can click here and you can see it's going to be the element when you click. Or the element that you have clicked is going to be added to the console using e dot target. So we can add something like E dot target dot class list dot add and we're gonna add a class that is called active. So this active class exists on the style sheet. Let me add a search and you can see we have questions, li, and then we have active and we're gonna apply the background color and also the color is going to be white. So let me save this and click in one of these and you can see this is going to be active. The idea of this uh, little game is that you can click or you can change your answer. So if you click here, it's going to active all the different answers. So we need to remove the previous answer in case that the user decides to change the, their answer. So let me add uh, right here a code. So let me add a comment removes the previous active class for the answer. So basically we're going to have only one active class. So we're going to add if document.query selector and we're going to select active so in case that uh, any element matches the selector we are going to run this code which is going to be let well, it can be a const active answer the previous active answer and we're gonna select this we're gonna use this selector so in case that this exists we're gonna add active answer and we're gonna add class list dot remove so we're going to remove that class and we're going to add active so now you can save this and open the project you can see we have this option or you can click here and it's going to remove the previous answer so this is looking nice let me add a comment that says uh, adds the current answer so we need to add some other code in the next video we're going to add this button to check if this is the correct answer and also we're going to add this validation in case that the user doesn't select any questions. We have this message that says, please select one answer. So I'm going to show you how this is done in the next video.